What is up? It's Figure Hunter, and today we're going to talk about a potential, I would say actually not even a potential, but a real definitive issue with the Whoop 5.0 and um, ancillary issues that sort of flow from that. Now, to, to give you the backdrop, I still am a huge fan of Whoop. I think they are the most innovative and pronounced company when it comes to wellness and recovery and now longevity. I'm actually in the middle of finishing up a re another review about HealthSpan because it, it compared to the backdrop of other wellness and recovery aspects that other sports and you know devices on the market offer, I definitely think that they are way above all of them and that it is still a device that is an ideal solution for tracking your overall well-being recovery and longevity over time so i think it is a, a big deal but all that being said i think there's a one major issue with whoop 5.0 that i just realized and that is i do not believe they upgraded the heart heart rate sensor i believe the whoop 5.0 heart rate sensor is the exact same heart rate sensor that's on the 4.0. You know, it stuck with me this weekend as I was thinking about it, you know, busy Mother's Day, all that sort of stuff, but something just sort of didn't, did not stand out in the keynote. So I thought of the keynote, it was beautifully done. It was perfectly orchestrated. It was meticulous down to the, I thought it was a incredibly good keynote address and explanation of all the details and features and release tidbits that came with 5.0, with MG, with, with, with everything alongside the expansion of the app. And then I watched it over again last night and I realized there is zero mention of any upgrades and updates to the heart rate sensor. The heart rate sensor looks the same from what I see on my device. Now, I don't get mine until Wednesday or Thursday. So I'll have it, we'll compare it hands-on, but from what I've seen, or at least with one reviewer that actually has the device, not getting any different results. And so we're gonna talk about what this means and what we can do about it and how we can take this information. But I thought back through the keynote, I watched the keynote again, and I realized they meticulously stated any little minor upgrade and tweak to the haptic system, to the accelerator, accelerometer and gyroscope, things you don't see, and never once mentioned any update to the heart rate sensor itself. I am fully convinced that is the same heart rate sensor that was on the 4.0. I think it is a major failure, um, as a major it, you know, just because they, they can do a better job with the heart rate sensor. Um, so we're going to talk about now, let me just say out of the gate with the heart rate sensor issue, the whoop 4.0 heart rate sensor is absolutely everything you could need for everything in life, for all the biological metrics, all the sleep metrics, all the components of steady state exercise. I even think it does great in in all this sort of simple steady state exercise, it is just a real failure when it comes to higher intensity interval training, anything with wrist flex, any weightlifting, any of those functional things. And that does flow through to health span. So let's look at the app and just talk about what it would affect, but hear that again. I think it is absolutely as accurate as it possibly could be for all the primary functions of life and sleep and wellness and recovery and all those things. It only affects those primary zone four, zone five workouts. So when you look at the device, if we just sort of dive in, you dive in, you can see the landing page. So what does it affect? It affects the workouts. So obviously, so it's going to miss different components of it. So it's going to miss some of these heart rate zones. So this is a workout from the other day that it was a much harder, higher strain than this was able to pick up, than the Whoop device was able to detect. So it's not going to pick up the highest intensity zones of, or even the the, the times where your heart rate goes from steady to like spiking, it's not gonna pick up those. Like think of like a 
high heavy back squat where you're doing a larger volume of reps with a heavy back squat, your heart rate's going to change dramatically very quickly. It's not going to pick that up. It's also not going to pick up your strain goal. So if you look at your strain goal for any given day, if it doesn't pick up the four and five zones as accurately and the trajectory changes in your heart rate, it's going to affect your overall strain goal. But the biggest, biggest thing that I think we're now going to talk about a solution for is it's not going to, it's not going to correctly calculate your health span for zone four and five training. So this is a big function where you can add years to your life on the health span calculation in amassing time in zone four and five. And so that is it. And, and as I say it out loud, it sounds like, okay, okay, we can all breathe the sense of re relief because it's only going to affect probably 10% of our training. And that's just our training. So it's not going to affect the 90% of our life that is also out there, but it does mean we have to be aware of it because I don't think this is a new sensor. I think it is not going to be accurate when doing wrist flex exercises, strength training exercises, and higher intensity zone exercises. So that's something that we have to be conscious of. So what does that mean? You know, obviously those are the things that's going to affect your workout, your strain, and your health span in simple terms. So here's what I think we have to do in response. We have to consider wearing a a bicep band and we have to consider maybe even using i actually had really good accuracy of heart rate when i was wearing the boxers because you just put it on your waist and your waist has actually got good vascular flow and it it worked great there so you have to look at alternative places to put it if you want it to culminate the full strain and the full health span benefits to those higher intensity workouts what does else does that mean that means that the new accelerometer and gyroscope is not going to be of value because you're not going to really use it for the higher intensity workouts where you have trajectory changes that the accelerometer and gyroscope. So it's sort of like saying you can have accelerato, accelerometer and gyroscope data by wearing it on the wrist, or you can have heart rate accuracy by wearing it somewhere else. So you can't have both wearing it on the wrist. So that's going to affect how we might use it as a device. And, and that is, it's, it is, crazy to me because they could just connect to an external chest strap and just have the heart rate be from somewhere else and all the accelerometer be from the wrist. So that would be great. So what do I say in summary in this sort of short video? I just wanted to sort of get this out as I'm working on an in-depth review for the health span feature that I do think is revolutionary and nobody's even coming close to it. It makes it to me like I don't look at Garmin. I really do look at all the factors of the whoop and I think it adds value to how you effectively make decisions in life. But we have to be aware that this is going to be a real limitation with this the recent release of the 5.0 not being different in the heart rate accuracy field. So they just need to have it connect to a chest strap if anybody from Whoop is watching this. So what are a few basic things in summary? One is yet to be seen. I don't have any doubts that it's going to be the same sensor, but it's still yet to be seen. I haven't gotten my device. We haven't somebody crack it open and scientifically look at it, but yet to be seen if it is actually different. Two, it maybe doesn't matter that much um, because it's just affecting a percentage of your workout time, which is just a percentage of your life. But it is a, it is super irksome. So we have to be aware of what are the workarounds, the third thing. So workarounds would be just being aware of it. Workarounds would be um, using other forms of like attaching it to your body for the, for the workouts itself. And I'm working to try to figure out a solution because the WHOOP, application can import workouts, but I, I think they actually trigger it to not import the heart rate. They just import that a workout was tracked and then they go to the device itself, the Whoop device itself to get the heart rate for that period of time. Um, Whoop is still revolutionary. They're still tracking all your information at all times. You could go backtrack. And if you did a workout and you were wearing your Whoop, you could go say, I did a workout from 1201 to 1237 and it would have all that. It's, it's second by second. Apple Watch can't touch any of that because it's only every 10 minutes. No other device really can go backwards in time to say you did a workout and have all the data amassed for it. So it, it is it is still awesome, but we have to be aware that this is something that I wanted to get out there because I want everybody to be aware of it as soon as possible as you're processing your decision. Now, I am a huge still believer. So if you are going to consider looking at Woot, please consider using my referral link. It would really mean a lot. It's down in the description below. But for that, I just had to get that right out of the gate, hot off the press. It's a figure hunter. Thanks so much for watching.